guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana. I'm not in my normal setup, as you can see. I'm on my phone, I am in natural lighting, and we're doing a video because this product, which you could clearly tell from the video title, is the Good Molecules Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30, and we need to talk about it. I got it last week, I've had it pretty much a week now, and I've been wearing it every day, multiple times a day, so I have my feelings on it. I want to get into it because I think this is a product that I think a lot of people are going to be really interested in and I figured the sooner you know about it the better so let's get into it now if you hear dogs barking in the background those are my dad's dogs he has two corgis I will insert a picture here and I can't control them because they are two years old and they do what they want <laughs> also if I like obviously the setup is not the same and my camera is not the same but hopefully this phone is good enough that we get good quality but just know that this is not the norm. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this product. Like I said, this is their new sunscreen. It's a mineral sunscreen. They don't have any other sunscreens. And Good Molecules, if you don't know about the brand, they are a really, really affordable brand. They have lots of different skincare products, everything from overnight, like HA masks. I have that. I actually really like that. Why am I blanking? They have an eye cream, which I don't like. Toners, moisturizers, they have everything. And the thing about their products is you can see on their packaging every single product, that's normal, the ingredient list, but they also tell you the um, amount in it and they tell you the percentage. So like this one is zinc oxide, that's the active filter for it, and it's 13.3%, which is pretty typical for sunscreens, but what's not typical is they also tell you how much everything else is. So the very first ingredient on here is water and it's 55.7% water. So a lot of brands don't tell you that. They'll have water on there because they have to, but you don't know how much is in it. So it's a good thing, I think. It's also bad because if you see an active ingredient that's like super high, like 10% on one of their products, it leads you to believe that that is good for you when it's not always a higher active amount that is good for you. So take it with a grain of salt. Ingredients also, or products also are a sum of their ingredients. So just because you can see exactly how much is in there, it's also a matter of the ingredient quality. So just because you're seeing one ingredient, like say Centella Asiatica, they might be putting more of it in, but a lesser degree, like a lesser quality one. So it doesn't tell you the full story. I, like I say, take it with a grain of salt. It's not the be all and end all, but I do like it. I think it's, you know, very transparent of them. But anyway, we're going to get into this product. So this retails for $12. I feel like the prices for Good Molecules are like the old old school elf prices. Sorry, I'm taking this out of the packaging. And I just really, 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 really like the price on this. You get 50 milliliters, which is 1.7 fluid ounces, standard amount for sunscreens, and you're getting it at $12. Like there's no other product really that I can think of that is at this price range. And spoiler alert, that works as well as this. The only thing that I would love to see is I would love to see that this be like a SPF 40 or 50. It is only SPF 30, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Okay, let's read the description, why don't we? So, meet the sunscreen for every skin tone. Good molecules, sheer mineral sunscreen, SPF 30. The minimal white cast formula protects from UVA and UVB rays and is infused with hydrating ingredients and antioxidants. The weightless fast absorbing sunscreen is suitable for all skin tones and types, leaving behind no greasy residue. Okay, I will give them pretty much all of those. I love the fact that they say the minimal white cast. They are not going to say this is an invisible on all skin tones. I just love that because while it is one of the best, I'm going to just say that now, non-tinted mineral sunscreens with like very, very minimal cast, it's not invisible. Like it's going to have some cast, especially the more you put on and the deeper your skin tone is. But I just love that they are completely honest. Like they're not going to say it's invisible when it's not. So that's great. I would say they're also pretty accurate on... The finish. They say that it is fast absorbing and non-greasy and I would concur both of those are true. I wouldn't necessarily go with hydrating and like skin soothing properties of the ingredients but you know I'm not going to go to this for my skincare and I always say that. So okay we've got those bases covered. Since I'm at my dad's house I had to find some teaspoon thingies and I'm going to use the quarter teaspoon and put on my face. Okay, 
So that was one thin layer, and I always say do thin, small, thin layers, but let's just take a close up and see how quick and easy that was and what it really looks like. I think that's pretty incredible, but we still have a lot left, so I'm gonna continue doing layers and I'll just fast forward through this. almost like really truly invisible. I think the only places you can see it a little bit are in my eyebrows, which is pretty standard, but otherwise I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna be back in a few minutes because I like to do that and then we'll talk through the rest of it. Okay, I'm back and I've changed locations. I'm in the kitchen now, but my legs were gonna go numb and I want to be able to walk today, so here we are. But I wanted to come back about five minutes later and show you kind of the finish and give you my final thoughts on it. So there is a little bit of a glow, but you can see like there's really no, no cast, which is pretty incredible. And I put on the full quarter teaspoon. Sometimes I put on a little bit more, made sure I got my neck, my ears, everything. This is truly, and I've said before, like I like some mineral sunscreens and I typically like ones that are more fluid. This one is not necessarily fluid. It's more like a cream but it spreads so easily. And I think that's really the key to getting less of a cast. So this one is one of the only sunscreens that has no tint that's mineral that I look forward to putting on. I don't look forward to putting on a lot of other non-tinted mineral sunscreens because I know I'm going to have to go in with some type of makeup, some kind of skin tint. And there are days, like a lot of days, especially when I'm out in California where I'm so active and I don't wanna put on makeup, I just, want sun protection. And this is truly, I think, the first one that I've been reaching for on a regular basis because I know it's not hard. It doesn't take a long time to rub in. There's no cast. And it just kind of mimics, I guess, my skin. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a matte finish, but it's not glowy. It kind of takes on any of the properties of the skincare you have underneath. And I don't necessarily think this is gonna be great for certain skin types. So if you have drier skin, you would definitely need to put your moisturizer on underneath. And if it's the winter, you might need to load up on it. I'm not sure. But for me, it's kind of a great product because I know that I am gonna be able to wear it in the winter, summer, spring, all year round, which to me, especially for a mineral sunscreen is really big. A lot of the times mineral sunscreens are super dewy. They're kind of counteracting the dryness of the zinc oxide. This one just feels like you're just putting something on your face that you forgot about five seconds later, which I love. I've been able to wear it without any makeup. As you can see, there's pretty much nothing to it. <laughs> it does have a little glow, like I said, but nothing so, so like crazy. And this will sink in after a few more minutes and it really won't look like much on my face. So. It's an absolute, absolute recommendation. I mean, for $12, you can't beat the price and you're getting a, quite a bit of it. And I love just how easy it is. So if you're wondering if you should get it, I think you probably should if you like mineral sunscreens. I have seen, and they did, what I really like is they put models out there that were much darker in skin tones and they actually showed them applying it which is really great. So while I can't speak for all skin tones, I do think it's gonna work for quite a bit. And especially if you do it in the method that I always suggest, small thin layers, I think you're gonna have the best application. So well done, good molecules. Well done. <laughs> all right, so I will see you guys soon. I have another video coming, hopefully one of these days, Naturium dropped their sunscreen, but I have still not gotten it. Not great shipping for, on their part, as opposed to this, which was wonderful shipping. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.